सो वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एजुकेशनल ऐप बाय रिएक्ट नेटिव ओके सो दिस इज अ कंप्लीट रिएक्ट नेटिव कोर्स फॉर द बिगिनर्स एंड वी आर इन द ट्यूटोरियल वेयर वी आर बी गोइंग टू बिल्ड द गूगल ऑथेंटिकेशन सिस्टम फॉर आर एप्लीकेशन राइट सो वी आर बिल्डिंग द लॉग इन पेज विद द गूगल साइन इन ऑथेंटिकेशन यूजिंग द एक्सपो सो हेयर इन द लास्ट सेक्शन राइट वी एबल टू रन द प्रोजेक्ट ओके so in this tutorial uh, first of all uh, let's create a new folder called app and inside that app i created another folder called assets and uh, inside that i created another folder called image where i kept the image uh, for our login screen if you go back um, to our prototype right you will see this prototype like this where we have image at the top then text and then we have this button right i will share this uh, prototype with you so link is in the description you so you can check it out and you can use it for your reference purpose now here uh, in this app folder right i will create another folder called pages where i will put all my pages like login screen home screen kind of thing right and inside this page i will create one page called login.js right for login screen so now uh if you remember in the last video i told you to add the extension okay and the right now we are using that extension so right now we have to define some template here right so, uh, the starting code we can say that and uh, if i just write rf right uh, and you will see this bunch of option right and if you see right we we are working on the react native so just type rnf and you will see this default template is get created directly without writing any code because this extension will give you the basic template in order to start writing our code right so in the uh, this default template right we have this view and inside this view we are showing the text called login now in order to display this login on the uh, our devices right you can say emulator you have to import that in app.js right so i will right now i will remove all of this code and here i will import this login page right so make sure you import this one right if you see right i imported this and we import this is login as well and just save it and if you see right login uh, text is getting printed because in the login.js we just have this particular login text if i change to login with sign in you will see this text as well right login is sign in kind of thing okay so i hope you understand this particular thing how can you import the component in one another correct so right now i will remove this styling because right now it's coming in the center if i remove this styling and now it this text is coming in the left side corner left side top corner okay now in the login.js if you see the prototype we have image at the top and then we have this section and also if you see right we have this beautiful rounded corner as well so you will implement that one as well so i will remove this particular text and let's add the image first so we have uh, in order to add the image in the react native we have a tag called image uh, okay and when you are using this tag make sure you import this tag if i click on image right you will see this tag get imported right and close the tag now we have to provide the source okay and the source which is uh, we are fetching is from the local only so here we have to write required so when you are fetching the source from the local if you are fetching it from the some url it's a different one i will tell you how to do that as well uh, later, uh, later in this particular course so let's write re require and inside inside this require you have to give the path okay so here i can say uh, slash then uh, then assets oops sorry then assets then inside that is we have images and inside this image right we have image called login.png and save it as soon as you save it if you see right hand side the image get display on the screen okay perfect now next uh, we don't want to give any styling because the image is already in the correct size but you can give width height depends on your requirement next we have the text uh, called uh, Ed, welcome to education app okay so let's give the text here okay and just write welcome to uh, edu uh so i can i gave this uh, application name as a code box so i will write welcome to code box right so if you see right when i uh, write this welcome to text box in the text uh, tag right so 
it display on the screen now you can give some styling to this one right so let's give styling so when uh, you have to write style in double curly bracket you have to write the styling and all so here i can say uh, font size to be like let's say 30 pixel okay or Can select 35 pixel 35 only and then you can write text to be aligned in the center and also i will make the font to be bold so let's make font to be font to weight to be bold okay so if you observe one thing right right now i'm giving the in inline styling right so this is the inline styling but you can define the styling outside as well so in order to define this styling outside right add the default template using the, our extension and just type rnss so it will add the uh, default template to write the styling and make sure once you add this you will import the style sheet from the react native okay and then you can just copy this all of the styling remove from here and here you can add it so i can write welcome text okay and inside that you can write your styling okay perfect so this writing the styling externally right will help you uh, to structure your code beautifully okay this is very important and if you are writing styling because for example if you are, if you are giving styling and which has a number of properties right then it's better to define styling outside otherwise you can do if you can define the uh, inline styling okay so i define the styling but here now you have to attach this style right so you can access this welcome text by defining styles dot welcome text and if i save it you will you will not see any change because i applied the same styling right now let's give some margin from the top so i will not give margin i will give padding so let's say padding okay so here right uh, just give comma first and then if i write padding right you'll get a bunch of options so let's padding and i will say padding from the top like uh, for 40 pixels something like this right but before that i will wrap this particular text in one view okay so define view and inside that view i will add this text because we want to give the this rounded corner right that's the reason and then i will apply this uh, inline styling here okay or not inline styling let's define the external styling so right say uh let's add one container here i will remove this padding top from here and see let's container okay and inside this one let's give comma here first and here you can define padding from the top so just write padding top let's say 40 okay and then you can apply it here right you got the error because we did not define the style so define style dot container and save it and if you see right text is coming because we added the uh, margin also uh, in order to add the corner right first of all what we will do we will move this particular view to the top so we'll just do the margin top and here i will give the margin minus 20 okay so if you see right uh, the, it moved to top right but you don't see anything because we don't have background color right now background color is transparent so let's do background color and here we can give background color to be white so let's define background color in uh, code and if you say it's moved to up now and now if you try to give the uh, radius um, at the top right so if you see border top right radius let's give 20 and if i save it you will see here right it's changed completely right same you have to give border top left so or start radius you can say and just give the 20 here again not start actually so here it's it's border top left radius and save it and you see on both side we got this radius effect you can give more 30 for example and save it right we got this beautiful effect um I will make it minus 25 okay. perfect now let's add this particular text because if you see uh, because let's 
if you see right we have this login and sign up text as well so add that text particular text so below this we'll add the text and just say login slash sign up right now in this case i know the styling is a little bit so i can use styling here directly okay the uh, which is the inline styling and i can say the text size uh, but first of all i will take text aligned to be in the center if i save it it's coming in the center correct and also i will give some margin from the top so just write margin top to be 40 okay and uh, text size of uh, font size not text size but font size uh, to be 25 25 is more, more 25 like this perfect okay and then we have button right now if you see our button is have icon and rounded corner with the text correct and the background is kind of blue so in order to achieve this effect i will define in a view first okay and inside view uh, i need to define uh, icon and then text let's define text first okay and just uh, just write sign in with google okay and save it you 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 are able to see this particular text right now here we will apply this uh, some styling to this one so i will define some styling here first so here you can define button and here i can define style so first of all i will give the background color okay and now I want to give blue so here is thing right every time when you are using some of the color right you are have to uh, define the color code every time and it's very hard to remember the color code or find the color code right so in order to uh, uh, solve this issue right what i will do i will put all the color code in one file so first of all let's go to a app folder and inside this app folder i will create one folder called shared okay so in this shared folder it contains all the file which uh, which is we are sharing across the application and inside this i will say color.js file so let's colors.js now here we can define the color so just write export default because we want to export uh, it because we we can use it anywhere right and here we can define the color code so right now our application has a primary color which is kind of blue so let's take the uh, color so let's go over here and i will just copy this color code come back here and define in a uh, code so we have this primary color just save it and in order to access this color right you have to import these colors first so if you see right this it's importing from the shared slash colors so import it and then access this using this particular colors dot primary and if i save it right you don't see any change because we did not apply this button to this our uh, view so just write style and then in in a single curly braces just access this using style dot button okay and if i save it you will see this change right next uh, let's give some padding so i will add padding to be 10 and also i will add the margin from the all axis to be 30 and save it if you see it's working perfectly fine now we want to add the icon google icon right so in order to add the google icon uh, we have uh, the office i don't know whether it is official or what but we have this icon.expo.fyi right you don't need to enter any dependency because it's i think it's already de uh, defined uh, in our expo application so here you just need to search the uh, icon which you want i put this link of this google icon uh, sorry the link uh, the library this particular website url now right now i'm using this logo dash google on this icon and this icon is coming from the ionic icon right if i click on it you will see this import statement so make sure you will import this particular statement so import it here like this and then in order to use it just copy this line of code and come into this our view and paste it here and save it right now as soon as you save it you will see this uh, icon is coming so here you can change the color so i will change to white okay and it's coming to white right now let's apply some styling to this text as well so 
so i will apply this inline only so here i can define the text color not color but just color right so color to be white right so let's define the white color in our color.js so white the white color code is a fff save it and just access this one colors dot white and save it if you see it's coming to sign with google with a white color now in order to bring this in one line right in our button view right let me close this one just define it uh, display make it display as a flex okay oh so you have to define in a code flex right and save it and then you have to define the flex direction right now it's a column by default but you have to define as a row so it will come in a one line you see perfect now let's give some margin uh, some gap between these two right so i what i will do i will simply give my uh, right margin to this icon so just add the style and i will this margin right to be 10 okay perfect and now bring this in the center so to this button view i will say justify content to be in the center perfect right you can do the item to be aligned so it will come in the vertical center so Uh, item align item to be in the center if you see it's what it will come in the center everything and now let's give some rounded corner i don't know why is <laughs> okay so rounded border radius to be 10 and save it and if you see perfect now let's give some login sign up some margin from the top right so what i will do i will give margin from the top like 80 it's come a little bit down perfect and if you see our prototype it's look perfectly fine right it's similar to the one which we have prototype you know and once we design our ui i hope you understand this particular thing now let's add this google authentication as well uh, to our this button right so once i click on this button right I can able to uh, log in with the Google. So with the help of Expo Google Authentication, we will add this functionality.